Happy fisheye day to you. <laughs> I've got my fisheye lens here, and I'm in Macy's. It's July 5th, and I am needing Listerine. <laughs> I have my apioectomy today. Here, I'll take this off so it looks normal. Going in for that surgery today here, uh, and just want to have fresh breath and <laughs> a clean mouth for them to work in. Uh, hopefully, things go smoothly. I'm sure they will. Been on an antibiotic for since the 22nd for a bunch of days. Still have like seven days to go on it. Feeling that that's going to be what heals me. And I've got, I've got about 40 minutes till surgery. Yeah, I guess they call it surgery, but it's a procedure and uh, they're gonna be drilling into my jawbone. So let's get some, let's get a few things that I need. Fresh squeezed things. A lot of times they have grapefruit, but it looks like today is just orange, which I'm fine with. It's a little pricey, but that's okay. Okay, I'm going in. <laughs> I've had this done before. I didn't have, you know, anxiety like I did before. I'm just trying to play it cool and they're gonna be, they know what they're doing, so. I forgot to take this mouth rinse. I'm supposed to take this mouth rinse uh, one to two days prior to the surgery and they may not even let me do it. I didn't realize I was supposed to do that. I messed up. Hi everybody. Oh wow, mm, look at that. It's kind of swollen. Shelly's gonna tell us what happened. Paul had a very infected tooth, which has eaten his bone away. So we went in and performed an apicoectomy on number 19. We flapped his gums back, <laughs> made an incision, and we went in with the drill, found where the roots were located, cut off the roots, the tip of the roots, scraped them and the infection out, and then went in with a different instrument and placed a filling material that will seal the roots off apically. Um, placed a bone graft, sewed him back up. And he's oh. gonna get better now. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so these two are before, that's after. You can see the difference in the length. Oh, okay. So part of that root of that tooth was cut off and pulled out. Mm -hmm. So some people get gas for, for what I just had done. I look very swollen. <laughs> My tongue and everything is all numb. He said it's gonna be numb for 12 hours. But yeah, some people get gas and I just don't like to lose my self-control. I prefer a little pain over being super drugged up. But it's all done. He said it went extremely well. The doctor, I have to hold this ice pack on it for 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off. Most of my money's gone now. <laughs> but he said there was lots of black infection inside of there. Went very well. What can I say? Ice pack on. And I have sutures in there. Uh, he, they said not to show people because then it pulls it away, so. This is my hangout while I recover. Can you see the stitches in there? This is my recovery mode. Watching Danny and Shani live on YouTube. I love my religion. I strongly in God and Jesus and my Forgot what else I was gonna say about that. So I was just taking a look at my stitches. Yeah, I got stitches going around all my teeth holding my gums on. So they t they cut all my gums off and cut down here inside and pulled my gums down. The little fibers, the tiny little fibers, they grow on back onto your bone and they attach within just a couple days or even sooner than that. The sutures can come out in a couple days. Anyway, I've just been uh, taking it easy. They don't want you getting your heart rate elevated or anything. I'm going to take it easy for a couple of days and then uh, on the 10th I'm starting this movie. So we'll see how that goes. I need to remove my sutures uh, around then too. So anyway, if I don't do any more vlogging, well, I'm not because it's it's almost 1 a.m. So I'm going to bed. I'm only getting the, the shy. It wasn't. It didn't have surgery. I'm not getting a, anything on the other side. I only brush the side that has it. They have this care. 
post-operative instructions. This is avoid surgical area, no brushing, no or flossing until we remove the sutures. You may brush and floss everywhere but the surgical area. Your mouth should be thoroughly cleaned as usual. This is brush and floss. I use a Sonicare, Philips Sonicare. It's so good. And I also use sensitive. These are the ones they give me. I always go to the dentist every six months and I never have to buy toothpaste because they give me these. And it's sensitive. And it's perfect. But I also use something that's a little more harsh, which I love. Listerine Total Care. Six benefits in one. This stuff is really good. I don't leave it in that long. I only do about 30 seconds. Even gargle a little bit. Yeah, so I'm wondering if I can use this. I'm wondering if this is going to be too harsh on my sutures. I think I'm going to I'm gonna try it. It's probably going to be... I'm scared. Oh yeah, and then in between everything, I'm holding my... Um, Cascade into Donics on my face here. 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off. Yeah. So I'm just gonna take this one to bed and just have it on there. Okay, I'm a little scared. <sighs> Should I do it? I'm not doing it on this side yet. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was worried it was going to sting my back. Thanks for hanging out. I'm backed up on videos. So um, it's probably going to be another several days into one vlog. But hey, I, I got to play catch up. So thanks for coming by and ta ta for now. In a world of apicoectomies, I don't know how to say that word properly. Uh, uh, apico? A apio kegamectomy. Haha. <laughs> anyway, ta ta for now. Thanks for watching. And please consider subscribing to become a follower.